All right, welcome to another session of uh, Mu tutorial. Uh, in this section, I'm going to cover the data wave uh, for trans transformation from JSON to XML. Um, in general, it's fairly simple. You can find a lot of document. Uh, what is um, new in this one, uh, I want to cover how can you transform the header to the payload from the HTTP request header to XML payload. Um, so I create example here the, the simple XML. As you can see that uh, this is a request uh, to another system. And this is the input I got. For example, we need a customer ID in order to retrieve certain information. Uh, later on, I will cover the whole end-to-end -end scenario. But for now, uh, this, the use case is, this is input JSON. We need to transform to the output XML so we can send this um, XML request to other system. Um, maybe even I call it a header, but it could be in the it named differently. For this purpose, I just name as header here, right? So this is passed uh, from HTTP uh, header. All right, so let's work on this, see how, how can we do the transformation using the mu uh, new data wave. All right, so Let's do create a flow. All right, so all right, so let's create a flow. Um, we create HTTP, the simple one, and uh, so we can design the path. We can say data wave. Uh, as we're going to post uh, information, even we post uh, could be get, but let's say do a post because we're going to send uh, messages. So all right, so this should work now. And then we need to uh, add a transform. So in I go ahead to do a transform. Here we go. As you can see, um, there's nothing here. So what we're going to do, we know what is input here. We're going to HTTP and go to metadata. We can add metadata. So what the output is, is the JSON. Um, from this, so we're going to create JSON ID. We can say um, demo request. And then go here, we go example. So I have example in here, uh, equal store request JSON. So do finish. Now, we have the output from this HTTP connector passed to the next um, uh, next uh, point would be will be JSON. So we say output, right? And also, uh, we need to add some uh, metadata like header information, right? So as you know, that will be the header will be a uh, inbound property if you know that how it works right so the all the headers in the mill will be message inbound property right so here we say okay go out from HTTP um, that we will we will have the certain inbound properties we define in advance so here I just say name Okay, so name is, is a string. Uh, let me see if I have uh, 
I string here or not? So I store this. Okay. So string are already defined. If you don't, uh, if you don't know how to do that, you can just do here. Um, okay. Let's do another say. Uh, simple type ID. You can name like uh, my string. Right, so this is data type is a string data type. You define simple data type, right? So here you can see, as you can see that I define two, right? I can see my string. That's okay. It's just alias. All right. So this is a name. Think about you pass the header as name, password, or something like through the header. Uh, so let's add another one. Uh, this one, let's call it password. All right. So the password, we also uh, same data type string, my string. Okay. So now we we were almost done with the the HTTP part. And now, if you look here, see what happened. Um, so if you look the this is the input and that's we oh, okay so I think I create a around the password as flow variable and I don't want to do that let's go back so go here and uh, as you can see that um, password I, I choose the flow var that's why it's flow variable it's a flow var I want do inbound property, okay? Uh, once you change that, you, of course, you have to change here. My string, finish, and put the password here. All right, so now let's go here. And if you look at the inbound properties, um, probably in my previous tutorial, I'll talk about inbound property, you know, inside, if you don't know the message, message has a payload and inbound property, an outbound property. It's all sitting here, right? So there is a method, query parameters. This one is what we created, right? Name and password as a string, all right? So now, uh, in our transformation, I know what I'm going to transform is uh, uh, XML, right? So you can define here, define the metadata here. And uh, I already defined, but for, for the demo purpose, I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, XML ID is demo uh, XML, all right? So example, um, I create this example, uh, that'll be case, let's say case request, open. So now, he know that the root element is a request. You can, um, because I define this as a request. If you, okay, let me finish this. So if you look back here, what happened, I defined the root as request. So data wave look like pretty smart. He understand this. Now I, I have defined this, right? So in order to do this, um, okay. So let's try it, see if we can map here. All right. So initially it looked like we have some problem. Um, so the easy way probably is do this, right? So now let let this happy, and then we say map. All right. So map we need to. Um. A lot of you may may not be uh, very familiarized with uh, this is this is lambda expression. All right, so now you can see he's happy. Um, so what we can do, we can using the graphics to do this, see? And then we can map 
here name go to username right this is a trans there's a transformation password and now it's created yes. yeah so and we can save it let's see what happens if we run it um You might we might have a problem, but uh, I will I will show you how to fix it. Uh, so let let's try it. All right. So running that's so this is the DW post. All right. So now let's using the postman, right? So we can see here. This is my previous test, so I did this. DW. I think that's it. So as you can see that I have name, password, as pass through the header, right? And uh, let's look at the body. Body is customer ID. This is a JSON format, right? So let's try to send it, see what happens. Resource not found. Okay, so let's see what happened here. DW post. So post local host. Okay. Let's see if it's running. Okay, I think I didn't save it. That's why. All right, <clears throat> let's see. Try again. So it should rebuild it. Okay, let me let me uh just restart it, run it. Um, yeah, I, I run as a Maven project, um, so I think I covered this before, how you, you Mavenize this. Uh, so, it, yeah, you can see that it's already Mavenized, and now it's running. Uh, in my previous video, I also, you, there's a way you can, I can show this, but for this simple demo, I'm not going to that complicated process. Um, I think this should work. Uh, we say DW. Let's try again. See what happened. So DW here. That way the post, and this is a JSON. Let's see it. What see what happened? Okay. So as I said, you might have a problem. And um, yeah, so we run into a problem, right? So, uh, <laughs> this is an issue. I believe this is a bug from from mail platform they need to fix this um, the easy fix is this uh, so just remove this it should work so uh, apparently there is something not quite uh, Right. I mean, there is other bugs in the data wave. They they already Mew has fixed a lot, uh, since last release, but still some issues. So now if I save it, um, so the the purpose we need to get you know XML with request as root, with header element underneath there are two element, and uh, I I will talk more uh, about this. Um, so let's see what happened here. Uh, I believe I saved it. Okay. So let's see. 
So this is about when you use Maven, or uh, it build take a little bit longer time, but that's okay. Now it started. Let's see if this time it it works or not. Let's see. Hopefully, ah, I still have a problem. Uh, all right. So this is because this thing, the dollar sign, it doesn't know the dollar sign. So we have to do this. All right. Uh, so let's see. Hopefully, I'll be run. Oh, I didn't save it. All right. So, <clears throat> all right. So now should be running. It better work this time. All right. Here we go. Um. As you can see during this process, you got you encounter errors, right? Because I already encountered all this, so I know how to fix it. Um, when you the, the the demo is want to show you, you know, you will encounter error. You have to be patient uh, to figure out the error. But I'm not going to uh, go through too much on the this explain how you read the errors. Um, in my pre previous video, I have talked about a little about you know how to read those errors, how to diagnose those problems. Um, but in the gist, so here is the transformation, right? And um, so here is the result. This is what we want, right? So let's try another scenario just in case. Make sure I didn't you know, hard code something. Uh, let's change the header here. Yeah, so Gary Liu, we say, okay, John Schmitz, right? John Schmitz. So the password is uh, secret. All right. Um, secret. Password make it be longer. Secret pass one two three four. All right. So uh yeah, let's change the customer ID as well. Um, that in the body. Install. Go to like this. One two three four five six seven eight nine zero. All right. So let's say, you know, just, you know, you always, when you test things, make sure you, you, you don't have these changes, right? So let's go that. So as you can see that this has become changing. So I didn't hard code anything, right? <laughs> All right. Um, okay, I think I can conclude this. Um, uh, if you have question, let me know. I'm going to post this uh, video and also, um, upload this uh, source code uh, to the github all right um thank you for for the watching this video let me know if you want to other questions or um comments thank you bye now